Welcome back. It's time for our first hot topic, and we want to take a look at the rejection of 25,000 Naira quarterly allocation given to resident doctors in Nigeria by the federal government. And the strike is ongoing already, and they are saying there's no going back on this strike. We're going on indefinitely until government gives us our demands, which we gave during the ultimatum that we gave the government. We have been joined by Dr. Caleb Ekuri, President, Association of Resident Doctors, Cross River State. Good morning to you, Dr. Ekuri. Thank you. Good morning. Actually, um, the president of Association of Resident Doctors, University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, Calabar, Cross River State. Mm. Thank oh, you very much. Okay. Good morning, my host. Okay. Noted. So, talk to us about this development. Give us what we need to know with the latest development since the strike and this offer that your association is rejecting. Thank you very much. Um, actually, on the 26th of July, 2023, the Nigeria Association of Resident Doctors NAD commenced its nationwide wide indefinite strike following the expiration of our ultimatum that was given to government on the 5th of July, uh, 2023. And we met on the 21st of July and, of course, when, um, decided to go on this indefinite strike. And, of course, um, from the 24th to 29th of July, we were here in Lagos, in Lassut, um, the Lagos um, State University Hospital, for our uh, statutory National Executive Council meeting, our next meeting. So it was at the end of the next meeting that uh, we had some observation. And the observation, one of them, oh, of course, let me just uh, try to get uh, to know the observation, so that uh, we observed the avoidable strike that commenced in Nigeria since the 26th of July, 2023. And we also observed the um, attempt by women in Nigeria to, Nigerians to solve the issues. Of course, um, we also saw the slow wheel of progress by government in implementing our demands, which have taken years and even months um, while awaiting implementation. Of course, um, we observed that the circular for one-on-one -on -one replacement, which was promised to, the, uh, to us, since 5th of June, you know, even towards the last days of the previous regime, have not been settled. Our 2023 medical residency training fund, you know, have not been paid up till now, even though it was captured in the uh, 2023 um, annual budget of Nigeria. Uh, we also observed that the areas of salaries, areas of um, consequential adjustment of, uh, adjustment of minimum wage owed to our members, the promotion areas for members of the medical officers in several federal and tertiary institutions have not been paid. We also observe um, the downgrade in, by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria of our membership um, certificates. And then, of course, um, one of the things we observed was what um, is our topic this morning, um, where the National Salaries um, Income and Wages Commission released a circular, you know, um, uh, the government is, is, has approved 25% quarterly allowance, or what is called a treatment allowance, and also 25% increase for our basic salary. And of course, we also observed in that um, meeting um, about the casualization of doctors in the federal tertiary health institution across the country. And of course, again, we observed the rising state of insecurity, especially in Cross River State and um, Calabar in particular, where a professor of um, neurology in the Department of Internal Medicine, University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, was kidnapped from a house and is over two weeks now. In fact, it's I think the 18th, 17th or the 18th, in the hands of her adopters, uh, adopters, and they have not released her. And of course, uh, finally, we observed the, of, before they was observed that in the state special institution, some states are owing doctors up to 24 months' salaries, like in peer states. Their salaries are still being owed. And uh, of course, the uh, general issue of um, brain drain, our severe brain drain, which I've mentioned as the um, uh, non release of the one on one secular. And then, of course, even generally, the um, hardship Nigerians are going through, you know, following the um, removal of forest subsidy and the recent hike in the prices of the premium motor spirit, uh, commonly known as petrol. 
So um, that is it. It's just one of the 25% is just one of those several things that are bothering us and which we have not seen. Well, thank you very I don't, much. I don't even know how to begin to to fathom. It's a marriage of problems. Yes, and then 24 months for doctors to be old. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about when I'm hungry, I, I don't see clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone has to go do operations, someone has to a minister. Doctor. A hungry doctor, I can't just imagine. Uh, but now, let's just begin with what we're talking about today mostly. Uh, what were you asking for? The government has given you 25% uh, quarterly allowance or something, and uh, a raise, 25% raise in your salary. What is the doctors or what are the doctors uh, asking for that the government is not giving? I gave you 8,000. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we we're just calculating <laughs> if it is quarterly. Is it 8,300 naira, oh, doctor? But he said 25%, not 25,000. 25%, then there is the 25,000 naira, uh, naira quarterly. Is that, is that what it translates to? 8,300 naira a month? About that, mm. yeah. So he's asking, about, about what what that. exactly is a doc? I remember what before the strike, you had for? asked for five hundred and fifty percent increment. So he's asking, what's the stance now? It, what it, are you asking? Is there any shift? No, no well, um, as Association of Resident Doctors, um, uh, national body, we as at the seventeenth of July, twenty twenty-two, we wrote to government. You know, asking for 200% increase, which of course have not been overtaken by events. When we say 550 and all that, you know, you, you people need to know that we're not just um, calling an amount uh, arbitrary. We know what we are talking about because we're only trying to um, reverse the salary to what it was as of 2014, which was supposed to be reviewed after five years, but it has taken 10 years and have not been reviewed. So that um, we are talking of um, when, when you put it um, a, in a direct fashion with the, the, price, the price of fuel, the cost of living, the rising cost of living, taxes and everything in Nigeria, we are only trying to go back to what we were. So as NAD, as NAD, Association of Resident Doctors, we have asked for a 200% and of course, which have been overtaken by them with the current um, price um, increment in, in fear. And of course, the other allowance we they, they call a court treatment, like um, money given for clothes or uh, equipment, is even laughable because we have asked them for several allowance. Even we even specified what is called specialist allowance, especially for the seniors, the senior registrars in our um, um, institution that are undergoing residency training, and other equipment allowance. So to come and give 25,000 Naira and what you have translated to the amount you mentioned um, for a month is quite um, laughable. Well, you, you, you doctors have described it as a paltry sum. Um, I, I don't know if the government is willing to ship ground from the 25% increment in salary and the 25,000 uh, special allocation that they've given to you. But the thing now is that you see, when two elephants fight, as we know, it is the grass that suffers. The Nigerians who will not have their doctors in hospitals and clinics are the ones that are going to be at the brunt of this. And you, as your association has said, this is indefinite. What are we looking at here? How is this going to pan out? What next? And I asked for the ordinary uh, Nigerian. I asked for Nigerians. Okay, so I'm asking because um, the government has said this is what we're going to give, and the doctors are saying we're not accepting it. So it's two elephants fighting, and the grass is suffering. The masses who will not have their doctors in hospitals, uh, in their clinics. What next? W what are we looking at? How is it going to pan out? Any ideas? Well, um, thank you. I hope you can hear me. Yes. You know, well, if, if the patients are the grasses, I want to also say the machines have suffered and the machine cannot even cut again or even the cutlass cannot cut those grasses again. Um, we can um, authoritatively tell you that doctors are dying due to this severe brain drain. People are leaving the country because of this hardship. And even when the search was made, it's mainly because of this poor um, remuneration, and of course, the poor working environment that is in this country, 
So we are left so few and we are overworked. So you should understand that the, 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 gross, the grass cutting machine is even more affected than the grass as we're talking to you now. You can no longer cut the grass. So um, we are doctors, we are suffering, and that's why we are calling on the federal government. And we are also calling on those patients and those um, people who we are talking about to join hands with us and call on the um, current uh, federal government of Nigeria, you know, led by um, Bola Metinibu, to do the needful. These things, um, as we have said repeatedly, can be done. Some of the demands we are asking for can be done within this, within one or two days. Some of these things can be done. So we are looking for commitment on their side. But um, like I said earlier, the slow wheel uh, in the progress of implementing um, our demands is just the issue. So the way forward is for everybody, uh, stakeholders, let's come together and um, call on this government and put all the pressure. Our, our traditional ruler, our real father's traditional rulers, and everybody, we should come together and put an end to this um, strike. They are, they, are, they are avoidable strike. If you, if you ask me. You know, when during the last administration, the, uh, Dr. Chris Ngige was in charge, and uh, we, we weren't sure if um, he handled the situation well. Uh, there were divergent views with regards to how the situation was handled, especially since he is a doctor himself. And so here we are, a new administration. No one, we're not yet sure who's going to be heading that unit. Um, how disappointed would, is your association with the way the last administration handled this? And what are you hoping to see with regards to who is going to replace Chris Ngege? Okay, uh, please, your question again. Uh, the network is actually fluctuating. Sorry. All right. What are your expectations of this administration? You know, what do you want? Do you not want to see that uh, will be carried over from the last administration? We know who was in charge last administration, and you seem disappointed. What is it that you are expecting from this administration, especially who is going to replace the man in charge that will be Indeed, listening to you? That yeah. you guys were negotiating in the last, within the last, last administration. Uh, Ngige was um, the Federal Minister of Labor and Employment, but primarily we are under the Federal Minister of Health. And um, we had a minister uh, um, then, and we also had um, the Minister of, of Labor. So we're, what we're expecting from the new administration is that um, they have hit the ground running, and it's more than two months, going to the, uh, train, uh, the third month. Of course, we have seen some um, uh, approval of certain whoosh sums of money you know we saw 70 billion given to um, the national assembly 35 billion to the judiciary and of course the initial um, attempts to give 8,000 per month to four um, households about 12 million of them uh, we, we we are saying that they didn't wait for the formal um you know they, they didn't wait for the formal executive council national executive council to be formed for this approval to be done these things we are talking about, you know, like the MRTF, the Medical uh, Residency Training Fund, is already in the Office of the Accountant General. They can approve it. The issue of the secular one-for-one uh, -for -one replacement of doctors and nurses that have left, that are in uh, IPs, those things doesn't need them to come. However, for the incoming ministers of labor and productivity and also the minister of health, well, uh, when they come, they can only continue. In fact, even if all the demands that we have asked are done today. There are still things that need to be done in our um, um, tertiary health institution so that we can um, give um, good uh, quality of um, care and ensure patient safety. So we are. So should you are, have waited? Uh, should you have waited? Yeah. So should your association have waited for all of that to be established before going on strike? Then? No, no, we, we should, government is a continuum. We should not wait because even when they came, they did not wait for those ministers who approved the 5 billion naira. We still have a government in place with the structure that they have gotten now. It's enough for them to even do all we are asking for. You know, some of the things don't even involve money, like we used to say. Imagine them just asking the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria to reverse the downgrading of our membership certificate. It doesn't need one naira. You only need we. So in the midst of our strike, we just saw um, an, uh, a secular from the National Federalist uh, and Income uh, uh, Wages Commission 
okay, bringing out uh, the secular. So who told them to bring out that secular? It's government. They can work. We, I don't think we should wait for um, the, 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 the Federal National Executive Council to be formed. We have a president, we have secretary, chief of staff of, um, to the president, and a whole lot. The Director General is there. Let them do the needful, and we'll find our way. And when the new ministers come in, we'll continue. If not, we'll keep on waiting endlessly for, for people to settle down. And like a very dirty water um, of, 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 a, of a flood in the rainy season, I don't think it will settle down in, um, in good time. Before things run out of hand. Okay, uh, well, we're wrapping up now. Just um, uh, finally, uh, if you were to choose the lowest hanging fruits, what will they be? Because government uh, definitely may not, uh, may not solve all the problems that you have enumerated here. There were quite many. So what are the most pressing ones that, even if they cannot solve the other ones in the shortest possible time, they have to do maybe within the next one month? One month is too far. All our demands are very pressing about state. You know, whether I involve the state tertiary institution or the federal, including the release of our trainer in Calabar, like I told you earlier, who has been in the, in the den of our doctors uh, um, uh, up till now. They are all pressing demand. Like the, that, that's how um, some of the government officials or one of them asks us, what can I do? They, let them start doing it. Then we, we sit down. We, we, we are recess from the meeting. The meeting that we went on strike is on recess. That was on, on the 21st. So we went on recess, we reconvened again, and called this strike. We are on recess for that meeting. What have ended is our statutory next meeting. So we are just willing to reconvene anytime they show working. But as at now, nothing really has been done. What, what was done is not accepted, it's rejected. So let them do the needful. With the demands are before their eyes. Let them start, and we will need to review what they have done. And I can assure you that uh, the, 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 the welfare of patients, of Nigerians, uh, is really in our heart. And we will not hesitate you know, to review and possibly come back if they start doing what they should do. And those emphasis, like I said, the issue of brain drain, let them replace doctors. Let that circular for one-on-one -on -one replacement be released. Let them uh, you know, tell the relevant government agency to release that circular, the head of service of the Federation, and then, of course, the 2023 MRTF members have borrowed money to go for exams. Let it be paid. Let other issues, the areas we are talking about, these things can be done. Uh, you know, reversal of the uh, downgrading of our uh, uh, membership certificate. And then the states, they can also call on the governors. Well, since we are wrapping up, I want to also commend some governors in Nigeria that have done well in, in fact, um, notably, and I think not long ago, the, the government of Bengal State, among some other states, about five, six of them, have paid this MRT of 2023, you know, the, the, the revised version. They paid it, and some of them have, have approved um, um, the commerce salary scale, which we are still struggling, you know, the, 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 the full one, where others are also not doing well. Okay. So when they do well, we commend them. When they don't do well, we can't commend them, sir. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. You. Caleb Akuri, for your time. And we hope that this is resolved Thank as you. soon as possible mm. for the sake of the people. For the sake of the people. Yes, and, and we are the people. The doctors are the people. Yeah, you're all part of it. We are all part of it. All right, doctor. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you, Dr. Caleb. Dr. Caleb Akuri has joined us to take a look at the unfolding drama with the striking doctors, well, between the striking doctors and the federal government. we we'll watch and see how all of that unfolds. Stay with us as we come back with our second hot topic on The Breakfast.